How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. I've been waiting for this day to get here because I got my new set of coilovers and I'm ready to put these on. May not be as a big deal to some of you guys, but to me, it's as big as your mama's. It's a really big deal. I've actually never gotten a real legit suspension. I don't know why I just never spent that much money on my car back then or just never really went serious with it. But it's been a long time coming. I finally pulled the trigger and got me a really good set of coilovers. I just want to give you guys a little backstory. When I first started drifting, all I had was cut springs on OEM suspension back when I got my first RX-7 in 2006. After a while, I got tired of my cut springs and upgraded on used coilovers. They were tanks. They were okay, but they're somewhat kind of blown. They came from Japan, but it was okay. But I was frugal back then. I'm just broke. I was like a teenager, but I still got those for like $300. Those were the good days. Throughout the years, I've had several RX-7s, but I stuck with the OEM suspension until I got my fifth RX-7, which what I'm driving right now and drifting right now. Then I bought another set of coilovers. They're aftermarket, but they're from eBay, and they're the $200 ones. Uh, it's very cheap. I think they were the uh, early version of Max Speeding Rod. I bought it for $200. It was a steal. I got it from Craigslist. It worked. Uh, it was stiff. It felt good, you know, for a little bit of time. I've purchased those coilovers back in 2014, if I'm not mistaken. So I've been driving with this car, with these suspension, been drifting on these full time for three years now. But for the last two years, I've been drifting on my blown suspension, just to let you guys know. But my time has finally come. I finally have legit coilovers. It's time for me to drift even better and put these old coilovers to rest. Just like your grandson. Like 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 Before we get started, if you guys could do me a little favor, just, just a tiny favor. You know, you guys could like and subscribe the channel. You know, maybe subscribe right now. And uh, make sure to ring that little bell just to make sure you guys are notified when I make another stupid video. Let's get to it. Yeah, let's not put that right there. These are $1,300 coilovers. Okay, much better. Alright, let's do this. As you can see, I got partial max coilovers. Originally, I was gonna go for Fortune Autos, but the price went up like tremendously. And besides, I've been eyeing these partial max for a long time. Just gonna take off my suspension that I have here and just match it, at least for the right height. Uh, not sure what these are. Wish they have a manual for this. I'm guessing these are the knobs for uh, the dampers. Also I got these adjustment tools. So removing the uh, suspension, the coilovers and placing them with the new ones is not really complicated. The tools we're going to be using are 14mm, lug nut sockets of your choice, half inch drive ratchet, 17mm socket 18 millimeter socket of course let's not forget this if you guys don't have one of these just go ahead and take your uh, regular ratchet or breaker bar to take off the lug nuts last but not least floor jack Jeez. All right. 
we're doing the uh, the fronts first. Four 14 millimeter nuts right here. Over there too on that side. And there's a. Um, and we have to take off the lower part of the suspension. There's two. These are 17 millimeter bolts. Um, and that'll be it. It's really simple. I finally got the wheel off. My old hardware back then is 17 millimeter. Uh, there's two of them here. There's one right here and one right there. So for you guys who's new to RX-7 FCs, you guys are gonna see the bolt right here and right here in the bottom. You do not need to touch anything from right here, the control arms, tie rod end, you don't need to. All you need to do is take off these two and the four up top and you should be good. That's going to go right there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a power tool here but you can still use a ratchet if you guys want. Hold that. careful might want to take off these first actually okay, there it is. All right, that's good easy right and there it is it's free so I'm just gonna go ahead and slowly take these things off Okay, that's one down. Uh, as you can see, this is like the right height. Uh, I'm gonna have to measure it with a measuring tape and make sure that all of them are the same setting because I have bigger wheels in the front. I'm using 17 by 9.5s because anything below this, I'm gonna scrub. So I gotta make sure this is the same setting as this one right here. So I've been trying to figure out what these things are. Uh, when I open them, it was uh, it's shaped like this. It's nice. Now realize what it's for. You can, you can put it right here. It acts like a spacer or something. There it is. Oops. It's getting late. I just want to get this thing done. So make sure you take off the uh, the nuts here. Some people would accidentally install these things and not realize that they have new nuts here. Some people would accidentally install these things and not realize that they have new nuts here. Carefully put this thing up here. So what I was saying before is that make sure your suspension, make sure your pillow ball mount is set this way. Make sure you have this thing set and locked. If not, your settings going to be messed up when you're riding because all the vibration is going to happen and if this is loose then it's going to mess up your settings. Alright, we're going to be using this on the other side. This should go in. All right, so uh, things didn't go as planned. Uh, something needs to be fabricated because somehow my knuckle is actually hitting the uh, the. 
mount for my uh, coilover. So uh, this is the problem right here. And as you can see, I already scuffed up my stuff. My brand new coilover. <laughs> if you can see here, I need to shave this down, but I never thought that this would actually happen. Uh, I thought it's gonna be it's just a uh, straightforward job, but for some reason it's not lining up because of that. We're that close, guys. That close. But I think I'm just gonna have to continue this tomorrow because I am fucking tired. It is 2 in the morning and me filming this is actually taking me so long to finish this. This is my first one, actually. My first coilover on this car. And it took me this long just to actually end up with this problem. Then when I'm pulling this, uh, the thing's actually getting in the way. So, yeah. Oof, that's not good. I look so unprofessional doing this thing, but um, I need to shave this down. Definitely need to shave this down. I don't know why that thing's there. I don't know why this thing is like this. I'm just gonna go to sleep. What the fuck? Welcome back guys, Saturday morning. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this. I borrowed a grinder from a friend of mine and I'm just gonna go ahead and shave this off just a little bit. You know, not much, but just a little bit. Just so that way I can just go ahead and, and, and install this and get it over with. I'm glad that this happened so that way I can help everybody out there who's planning to put uh, Art Shop Max coilovers for their FCs because you have to do something like this. It would have been awesome if, you know, they specified that I need to do some modification and I'll be alright with that. But, you know, uh, when I bought the coilovers, it didn't come with any instructions or whatsoever. There's no reviews on the uh, their website, but I guess I'll be the first person to give them a full review on this one. Just to let you guys know that this is the part that I was talking about. I don't recommend you guys shaving it off completely because you guys are going to need this. Uh, it's a way for your mount for your suspension to actually stop right here. I don't know if if you shave off this thing, you know, your suspension is not going to work perfectly or whatever. But I just don't want to mess it up. I just want my coilovers to mount perfectly right here and uh, after that it should be good really. Another thing you guys need to uh, shave off is this part right here. This is the only thing holding me back right now. It's like a little gap when I put on the suspension or the mount. But this is the only thing that's holding me back right now so just to be sure you guys kind of shave this thing off a little bit because it's stopping the suspension or the mount to get in. When you're shaving this part off, make sure you're going diagonally from beneath here, going this way because now I'm having to shave this part right here because it's still getting in the way even though this part right here has been shaved off it needs to go this way okay I suggest you guys uh, just completely shave this part off it's gonna help a lot I was able to uh, actually stick the, uh, the the bolt there earlier but it's still kinda tight so I just need to make sure this part right here is shaved off uh, this way You can see how scuffed up my uh, suspension is right now. It's okay. It's not going to be seen anyway once it's installed, but it just it sucked because I could have avoided this from pushing it even further if I knew that I had to shave off the, uh, the, the knuckle. Learn from my mistake, guys.
bolt aligner, whatever you call it. Here we go. Oh, thank God. Oh my God! Wow! All right, back in business. That's it. Have to torque these really quick. Just to let you guys know, this will be a 19 millimeter head and this is an 18 millimeter nut. Okay, so shaving that part of the knuckle really helped. So for the future reference for everybody, make sure to shave those parts of the, uh, the knuckle. After I did that, everything went smoothly. I was able to put the bolt in with no problem. Wish I would have known that sooner. Like I said, these coilovers didn't come with any instructions or manuals or anything. Well, I don't know any information about it. I only heard from one of my friends that when they were installing a Part Shop Max on their FC, it took them a good while to actually put it in. And, and they have to do some kind of like janky angle in their jack to be able to put in the suspension just right. I feel like if you're paying well over a thousand dollars for suspension, I think you should come with instructions or at least they'll specify some instruction on how to install the proper way. So I was able to install the driver's side with no issues. I did the same process. I shaved down this part right here and this part. I didn't really scuff up my uh, suspension here. It only took me less than five minutes to put on this side. So for the rear, uh, you have two 12 millimeter nuts right here. You have one 17 millimeter bolt. And really that's all you need to take out. Uh, it's really simple, pretty easy. It shouldn't take me forever to do this. So you're gonna want to compare the uh, old coilover to your new one. Make sure that it's got the same or close to like ride height because you never know that it might be a little too low for you. In this case, it's definitely a little bit, it's gonna be a little bit lower because uh, this is shorter as you can see. So I need to extend it up to this point. Uh, I know for a fact that if I put this on right now, my fat tires are gonna rub here so definitely gonna need to adjust it and make sure I have the other side measured same as this one as well I would say right about 19 inches is right about 17 inches 17.5 so I need about like an inch and a half. Make sure you loosen up this uh, this part right here, this bottom uh, whatever you call it uh, collar, and uh, start just unscrewing this part and adjusting it to the height that you want or the measurement that you want. In this case, like I said, 19. Just have your old coilovers next to it, just to be safe. You don't want to mess up any measurements. It looks just about right. Uh, I think it's 19 inches right here. Once you get done with that, just go ahead and lock it in. down right here and just lock it in. You don't know which way it's gonna go. Don't fully lock this thing in yet until you actually put it on the car. Then you can just go ahead and lock it in once it's on the car. Oh 
was thinking of uh, adjusting the uh, the load of the springs. Uh, probably just gonna leave it alone for now and just adjust it later on. After I tested this a stock load, so I'm not really sure how it's gonna ride. I just want everything kind of like kind of stock for now and you know work my way up after installing it in the car before installing this make sure you remember about these nuts here uh, they're really easy to uh, forget and you're gonna be wondering why it's not going in all the way it's because of this all right just carefully put these things here you get that. that part right here that comes in handy you can just the nuts here on top that's not gonna fall you're gonna want to adjust this there it is Your 17 millimeter bolt right here, and you want to torque it, of course. You just tighten these things here, but not too much because uh, you still gotta put it on the ground, and then after that, then you can actually torque it really good. Make sure you lock your sleeve, your collar, for the uh, height adjustment, so that way that thing's not going to come loose. Now you can go ahead and torque your nuts. Okay. Alright, so... The other side was done in less than 10 minutes. It was easy. It was literally the same thing what you have to do on the other side. Do not forget to put your, uh, I don't know what these are called, but it just screws right in right here. Okay. Shorter knobs that came with the, uh, the package. Shorter knobs goes right here. I would not suggest leaving these things here because my car vibrates uh, just like adjust it and when I'm done adjusting this we just like literally take it off I'd rather not have it there I'll just go ahead and leave it at the softest setting for now and then uh, once I test drive it then I'll know what kind of settings I want to do once the whole car is on the ground uh, everything's installed this is how much gap I have in my fenders and my tires for the fronts, uh, it's not that bad. I think it was the same kind of like height as on a previous setting before, so it, it should be good. Uh, I do sometimes rub when I um, hit like a dip or something on the road, but it's not that bad. That's it for this video. If you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to comment down below and let me know if I missed something else. If you guys have any question about insulation, I'll be happy to answer you guys. Be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more of these videos. I will be doing test drive and review for these coilovers, so be sure to stay tuned. All right, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.